Hello. What's going on, monsters? Are you guys ready for some fun to really get out there and make people dance and sing and everything? Hi, absolutely. We are. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, last night I was invited to do a lecture at, at a school, and we talked about this conversation today, and everybody in class, their eyes lit up because people really do know about Monster High, the movie. Yeah, it's really exciting. Monster High has a very, very dedicated fan base, and the fans are so loving and supportive. And, yeah, we're just really excited to, to give them this project. Being children of famous monsters, I, I love this. Mia, you, you know, you're, you're, you're Claudine Wolf to be half human and half wolf. I mean, what is it like to jump into that character? Because it's like you've got to have that sense of confidence, and you've also got to be able to be sensitive as well. Yeah, Claudine is very dynamic. I mean, she's a 15-year-old, half monster, half human, starting high school for the first time. I mean, she is on a huge, huge journey of self-discovery, self-love, self-acceptance. Um, and, you know, she's a little naive, and she's still learning, and she has at times, but she's super protective of her beasties, um, and she will always stand up and fight for what's right, which I love about her. I love that you said beasties, because that's one of those things that people are going to pick up on very, very quickly, and they're going to call their, their, their best friends beasties as well, and I love the way that you guys are able to bring this forward, this new language. Thank you. So, Cece, you're part of a huge history here. Come on, Frankenstein has been around for a very long time, so now we can call you Frankie Stein. What is it like to be in that character? Oh, my gosh. Frankie Stein is such a freaking goofball. <laughs> they were born only 15 days ago. They have no idea what's going on ever, and still they have this insane, unshakable optimism to them about every single thing. They just are ready to get up and go. Mistakes made. They don't care. Uh, but they don't really understand social media at all, which has made it really hard to make friends. Uh, that, that, but that's true. Sorry. That, that's true. I mean, that, I mean, that's one of the. Th that's what you know. You keep it. You keep it so real with, with what you just said. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I was in high school. Honestly, I didn't understand Vine at all, and all my friends were always telling me to do this challenge, and I was like, the what challenge? I, was, I totally relate to this entirely. Like, Frankie does not really get, is not really keyed in on the trends, doesn't really know what the social cues are going on, but still they end up being just like the sweetest and most lovable and loyal friend you could ever ask for. Now, when being from San Francisco and you being Draculaura, Come on, I mean, the, the, those old ancient buildings in San Francisco have to feed into this character, and you think about those moments where you you could have been walking down a scary street. Oh yes, absolutely. There are a few scary streets that I know of in, in the Bay Area, so I definitely feel that. But Draculaura, she is a fifteen hundred year old vampire, so she has seen quite a bit in her time, and she's hyper independent and. Honestly, she doesn't really warm up to the two ghouls at first, but then they find out that she practices witchcraft, which is a non, which is a non, not, not a good thing <laughs> in Monster High. It is a human practice. And so they find that and they accept her for who she is and they love her. And then they go on this amazing journey together and she finds acceptance through them. Wow. Mia, is there any place here in Charlotte that, that, that gives you the kind of a, like a chill like that as well? Because I'm here in Charlotte. You're from Charlotte. I mean, they, Charlotte's got some history as well. Oh, yes, it does. I actually, I spent most of my childhood in Matthew. Oh. <laughs> um, so I, I would say, you know, going down more into the Waxaw area, you know, there's, there's some spooky stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> Cece, what happens if Mattel turns this into little figurines that kids can get for Christmas and stuff like that? Because that, that, all of a sudden you're going to become a part of history growing forward. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're probably, I mean, I see like the, in the little catalogs, the toys catalogs, Draculaura dolls and Claudine dolls, they're like the number one toys this year for what? kids. I think that there's so many kids that are going to relate to this. Boys, girls, everybody in between is going to love Monster High so much. Every kid is going to want a doll. Man, I wish I could talk to you guys all day because I love this. I love the way that people are going to react to it. And, and you know, once again, you're, you're part of history on Nickelodeon, and they do it right. Thank you so much for being a part of this show. Thank you so much for having us. You be brilliant today, you three. Thank you. <laughs>